Hey guys, I wanted to show you my current setup for gestures and how I can use them to fully navigate around my device instead of using the navbar keys. And yeah, I will include all the links in the description, so the applications I'll use, you can find those there, and if you like them, you can download them, try them yourselves. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so first off, I use Nova Prime, which is the paid version of Nova Launcher, and that gives me access to a few gestures, which you can see right here. And I use these to access my app drawer and my favorite applications that I want to access quickly. So I've got things like Gmail, the ES File Explorer, Google Now, and the Gallery. Of course, you can set these to whatever you want. That's just your preference. Don't worry about my nav gestures just yet. I'll talk to you about those a little bit later on in the video. But you can see I don't have an app drawer icon, so I can just swipe down to access that. I can swipe up to access my calculator. I can do a little twist to access my Gallery. I can do a two-finger gesture down to access my Google Now and a pinch for Gmail and you can just see how quick this is especially once you get used to them it's a really nice way to use your device you can declutter your home screens and still have access to your favorite applications okay so let's move on to navigation gestures you can either use an application to do this or if you've got the exposed framework installed you can use the module I checked out a few days ago I've just flashed Mardi ROM on my Nexus 5 it has a ton of options so I really didn't want to add the exposed framework to that as well so this time I have gone with an application it's called all-in-one gestures it's free and it's been working out really well for me now I'm just gonna make these a little bit more colorful so you can actually see them we will make them red and go over to swipe and then I've got the bottom area set to home the lower left area set to back and the lower right area set to recents now because of the way this is set up I really don't have any problems with conflicting gestures in Nova or in applications so let's take for example Google Plus we know this has a pull out drawer I can easily pull out that drawer without activating that back gesture because it's right in the bottom left hand corner I can get pretty close to it here but you'll see it's not activating the gesture by accident. But if we go into an article here and I do want to go back, I can easily do that. And once you get used to it, it is actually very quick and very easy. Now, because of the way these gestures work, they're actually swipe. So you're not going to hit this gesture by mistake by tapping it either. You can see I'm tapping right on that gesture. Nothing's happening. I can tap the camera. It'll work. But if I want to get to my recents, I can just swipe out. And there they are. Of course, I'm using Slim Recents. If you're using AOSP Recents, you'll get those as well. But I've had no problems with conflicting applications. I can pull out side drawers. I can go back if I want to. I can go back home. Yeah. Even keyboards, for example, let's let's bring up a keyboard in Twitter. I've had no problems with gesture typing. I can tap around. I can choose anything I want here. And I'm still not activating the gestures even when typing you know, pretty quickly. I'm kind of typing nonsense right now. But if I want to go back, I can do that. If I want to go home, I can do that. Now you're probably wondering how quick you can be with these gestures. And it really is a case of just getting used to it and a bit of muscle memory. And once you do, you'll notice that it's actually very, very quick. And you really don't feel like you've been slowed down by this. Of course, you do have the extra screen real estate as well. So it's pretty damn sweet. But I, I use this all the time now. I have no problems with speed or anything like that. Um, if you're wondering how I got rid of the uh, kind of red marks, you just have to go ahead and dive into the all-in-one gesture application, go to transparency and color, and just pull this bottom one down to transparent all the way to the left here, press OK, and that's it. They will be completely transparent, but they work just as well as before. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of my setup. Peace out.